We're, uh, we're on the outside of the house now, so this is the front or the south facing. And you'll see that there's a large overhang at the front. And for the summer what it does is it cuts out the summer sun so that we don't get a full uh, summer heat coming in and heating up the place or overheating up the place, which is why it's so nice and comfortable in the house, another reason. And uh, we um, then in the, the winter, it comes in on such an angle that we get full sun right to the back wall, which is exactly what we want for passive solar. Okay, yep. And we'll just take this. You'll notice that we've got uh, pallets out front, and actually the deck is made from pallets with uh, plywood on top, which is uh, very inexpensive and it'll last us a few years, we hope. And we started planting some uh, some herbs along the front here and some Swiss chard and whatnot, which is kind of handy, nice south facing. Now you'll see on the west side here as we come around the corner that we used, uh, we used traditional uh, traditional island sandstone to burn. Now this is the west side of the house and we get strong winter winds on the west and north side. Walk us there. Mm -hmm. the house the house. Oh. <laughs> and so uh, you'll see it's burned up quite a ways which makes our bedroom really nicely uh, regulated and the berming is actually a natural geothermal so there's no mechanics involved in this geothermal which is great and then you'll see this is the back side of the house and uh, we've got a few north facing windows we need it for the the ventilation and also one's a bedroom so we were required by law to have a certain size window and so for symmetry we did the other two the exact same size but it's all burned up um, fairly, at least half the wall on the north side, which again gives it uh, cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, which is great. And you'll see our stove pipe we're eventually putting in a wood stove, and that'll be um, backup heat if we need it. But talking to a number of passive solar home owners, uh, most burn anywhere from a half to two cords a year. So we're uh, we're not thinking we'll have to burn too much. So then we'll go to the other side here, the east. And again, you'll see we've got some island sandstone there as part of our uh, retaining wall. It's a lot cheaper than concrete. <laughs> and again, it's burned. And that's the outside. Okay, we're uh, taking a view from the back door of the house and we take an immediate left into the service room. And in here you can see the solar or the electric hot water heater. And we've got space for the future solar hot water heater. And then we've got the washer, no dryer because eventually we'd like to do uh, off-grid and renewables. And this is our dryer, it's just a rack that comes out from the wall, which is Handy. And then we're going down the hall here and we'll turn in the right to our third bedroom here. And then one of the main features of solar is the floor. And you'll notice that we've got a polished concrete floor. And we did it ourselves. It was actually a lot easier than I thought and the cost was um, minimal, it was like $200. And uh, it's, it's one of the key features in a solar passive home is to have a, a thermal mass, which concrete is, so it holds the heat and then releases it. And then another main feature is the south facing windows. And we have 16 foot high ceilings on the front and 10 foot on the back. These are triple pane windows, so it adds to the insulative value. And you'll notice that we have a Euro style kitchen, and it's very low energy as well, the kitchen. 
And it's a very open concept, so this is our main living area. We've got the um, living room, dining room, kitchen, and a small home office. We've got our temperature regulators in the windows. And another feature that we really like are the solar tubes. And they give off a tremendous amount of light and they don't let any heat escape on like uh, skylights. And they're so bright a lot of people want to shut the switch off for the light, which of course there isn't one. It just goes to the roof and brings the light in. And this is our bathroom. And again, we went with the uh, Euro style and so uh, low uh, energy use and uh, water use as possible. And again, another solar tube in here as well to let natural light in. This is uh, coming down the hall into the third bedroom. And again, you'll see south facing windows, fairly large windows. In fact, almost the whole south wall is window. And again, that's to let the heat in in the winter. And we'll come down the hall this way. And uh, the temperature day is 71 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. Or, and uh, outside it is almost 90 Fahrenheit or around 30 Celsius. So quite a difference in the temperature. So this is the hall leading down to the master bedroom. And again, you'll see the south facing window is the key feature in here. And you'll notice that the, um, all the house actually has really thick uh, walls and ledges. And it's about 12 inches. There's four inches of insulation, four, in four inches of concrete, and then another four inches of insulation on the outside. And of course, we put gyp rock on the inside and we put regular siding on the outside for that. And it's uh, Nudura is the product we use. Okay. And our builder has been doing it for 30 years, insulated concrete forms. And that, in part, is what's keeping our house nice and cool, which is uh, a wonderful thing this time of year where it's quite hot. If you're interested more, there's uh, nudura.com to check it out. So that's the inside. Now we'll take a look at the outside.